what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about a few different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about saw x we'll be talking about chucky and the potential third season and the future of the franchise as well as talking about jeepers creepers a little bit so just to kick it off with scream 6 the name of the bodega in scream 6 that sam and tara are most likely going to be chased into by ghostface is titled or named abe's snake bodega that's the name of the shop in scream 6 uh that again it's most likely going to be where this chasing between sam and tara takes place that leads to ghostface wielding a shotgun presumably stealing it from the shop owner uh i'm assuming abe is the shop owner name and abe is the one that again gets his ass blown the f away when he tries to bust the cap and ghostface bust ghostface turns around and bust the cap back in them or whoever they are so this bodega name is being assumed based off of this set photo from screen six that you see on the screen i do believe that this will be the name of the shop but i also could see it not being the exact name heard in the movie for whatever reason there's also been a leaked image of just to address this this supposed leaked image of kirby as the killer uh, for those of you who have seen it and DM me about it, I will say with complete confidence that that is not real. The only reason that that is not real is because it's coming from the same Scream 6 crew stalker person who's been harassing the cast, harassing people on Twitter, retweeting all this, um, nudity on their profiles. You know, they go by many different, uh, many different names on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you have it so many different things from them that person that have proven themselves to not be reliable so it's not true at all whatsoever they've been spreading lies about the movie for months i also want to touch on viewer non who was teased how gail's phone call with ghostface will go down and apparently she's taunted about how out of her dewey and sydney that if she wound up being the killer how she'd be the most interesting i will say that ghostface isn't wrong there because I see her donning the mask before any of those other two. I also could see her ghost face reveal being very iconic. I wouldn't necessarily say I could see Gail committing the murders as much as I could see her maybe orchestrating something just to have a story for the sake of it. Maybe not in her current form, but maybe back way back when. Just saying. <laughs> So I want to touch on Saw X next. Saw X has had some images, I guess, that were not intended to be revealed by a crew member that were saved and shared online confirming a return of a big set piece so if you don't want to know what this set piece is you can click away or come back to this video in like a minute or two so the iconic location in the original saw that took place for the majority of the film where we met dr gordon and adam will make an appearance in this upcoming prequel i'm curious to see how this plays into the story since it's expected to be set in between saw and saw 2 with john kramer again traveling presumably to new new mexico or mexico city to deal with something related to his cancer now some other images were shared online as well we saw tobin bell on set with a crew member who i believe this is the same person who shared that image and quickly deleted it uh there were some other images here but i know the bathroom was the most unexpected thing that people thought would return in this movie i didn't have this on my radar because i thought given that it was going to be set somewhere else there's no way they could have brought this back unless the big twist in all of this is that someone again taught jigsaw tobin bell or was teaching tobin bell's character of jigsaw john kramer some things along the way and they were coming back to the states to continue playing their games if that's what happens i would love to see how that plays out and how the how the uh fans of the series receive it me included obviously i don't know if that would necessarily come off well if you look back over the series and try to find some like ways that might be overly convoluted but if they go with a twist like that i hope they're able to make it work not saying that that's what the twist would be because i have nothing or any knowledge of this movie so far now are you excited to see this location return or do you not care my biggest hope again for saw x is that it is able to be a nice send-off for jigsaw since apparently the once or twice that we've had in the past were not enough for whatever reason filming does seem to be going well and i expect we will learn more about the story after filming has wrapped just to jump into chucky season three or just the that's just the franchise at this point because chucky season three hasn't yet been confirmed or announced by usa or sci-fi but don mancini seems prepared to continue the story in film format if necessary in an interview with comic books shortly released after the finale aired this past wednesday mancini said this about season three he said well that's the thing is there are no guarantees and we haven't gotten our pickup yet fingers crossed but just as you say i mean if we don't get a pickup i can continue the story in a movie 
I'm not saying I'd be against that, but I'm also not saying I'd be eager for a third season either. I want Chucky to continue however it will work best for the crew and for the creative minds involved and the, of course, of talent that brings the life on screen i'm also someone who has made it known in other videos that i like them to start figuring out an end game for this narrative because i think chucky deserves a proper conclusion this time as well just like all these other iconic series get their final conclusion or their suitable conclusion i would like chucky to find its suitable conclusion at some point too if we can get one final movie that wraps up the story of jake devin lexi caroline tiffany and nika then give it to me and call it quits afterward i, I wouldn't be against it andy and kyle seem to have gotten their farewell in season two but i wouldn't be opposed to them being present for one final outing to stop chucky once and for all now at this stage you know, with so many of these survivors present, you're going to have to kill somebody. I would say you would have to kill somebody in the sense that if you want to give the movie some stakes, if you're not going to kill off any of the legacy cast, if you want to kill off any of the newbies, go ahead and take that risk. But it's up to you how you want to depict it. I just think that if you're going to bring back all these survivors once again, you know, you need to do something big. But we'll see because I, I do think that season three will happen. But if it doesn't, I'm not against them just concluding this franchise with one final movie. That is a nice send off for everyone involved that has helped bring this wonderful story to life. And of course, focus on some of those cons in that in that second season. Some of the messy writing with the replica Chuckies, uh, some of the things as far as like setting rules, breaking rules only seconds or seconds later or during the same episode stuff like that but all of that can be resolved because i know dom has is a talented writer he showcased that many times just work on some of those weaknesses of that second season that many people had an issue with just conclude this by talking about jeepers creepers this is something rather small that's why it's very last kirk d'amico liked a post of uh, from a fan account shout out to you to that account i think you i you're a brazil account for jeepers creepers shout out to you you know who you are it was a post that said hashtag save jeepers creepers now this has people thinking that this could mean that they are interested in work, doing another project because we know that myriad pictures is the ones that have sued infinity films and everyone involved with the second or the fourth entry reborn this past year because of the fact that they claim to have rights to distribution for the movies I'm not saying that this means obviously that they're going to work on another project, but it definitely does indicate to me that if they are able to do more in the future, Myriad Pictures seems more than welcome or open to doing more Jeepers Creepers movies. I think that at first what will have to happen is this lawsuit gets settled. If they end up working with Infinity Films again, so be it. I think the biggest person that should be removed because I think they are a big problem is Jake Seal. I think that that producer should be removed. I think you should bring back everybody that brought those first two films to life in the, in the glorious way. Bring back the crew. Do the sequel that people have been waiting for and just call it quits after that if we don't get the tv show do one final movie that can wrap this show up or this series up nicely but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews i have to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video